Good afternoon, Speedway. My name is Tim Gropp, the Economic Development Director for the town. I'm coming to you from my office today to talk about Founders Square. Uh, but first, this is my last update to the community. This is my last day with the town of Speedway, and I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for the last five years. It's been a wonderful ride. We've accomplished some wonderful projects, and I feel like we're leaving the town. I'm leaving the town in a much better place than it was five years ago. So. Thank each and every one of you that's reached out and congratulated me on my new position. And uh, I just want to thank all of you for embracing me these last five years and making me feel so welcome in this community. I'm proud of the work we've done and look forward to seeing where this community goes over the next five years. With that being said, I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update on Founder Square before I leave. Uh, there's a lot of activity going on out there and there will continue to be a lot of activity over the next two years. So. Obviously, Aldi's and Groove Car Wash is completed. Freddy's is starting to take shape. They're anticipating a mid-April opening. They are continuing to move full force, and I know that's gonna be a great addition to the community. We should look forward to a ribbon cutting here in mid-April. Uh, next to them, it is slated to be a Valvoline quick oil change service center. Uh, they have gotten all their approvals. Uh, I think they're waiting on getting a contractor, but we hope to see them break ground here real soon. Uh, behind them, there's still a retail spot that is open. There is a uh, group looking at it currently. They haven't closed on the property, haven't moved forward, but we're hoping to hear something back from them. The next project down the line is T&H Investments. This is the 60 unit independent senior living facility that is scheduled to start construction at any time. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in this project. Uh, if you are interested in units, please contact Cheryl McElroy, our communications director at the town. She will pass your information on to TNH at this time. And about six months out from completion, we don't have the exact date yet, there will be a live site where you can actually uh, be put on a list and get information about leasing. Uh, there has been a lot of interest. We hope a lot of Speedway residents are able to utilize this facility. And uh, just by the, the uh, demand we've seen so far, I can anticipate we'll want to do something similar down the road. Uh, so that project will kick off in about uh, the next month or so. Uh, behind that is the Hampton Inn and Conference Center. This one has been talked about for the last six months or so, but it involves about 4,500, 5,000 square feet of conference room, a catering area, a hotel, restaurant, and then 127 rooms Hampton Inn. It is under construction now. They're pouring concrete as we speak. It'll take a total of about 18 months, so about another year. Sometime in 2023, that hotel should open up for the public, and we're excited. That's much needed event space, as well as additional hotel rooms and speedways. So a wonderful addition. There's still about six acres left out there uh, in two or three different spots that can be divided up. Uh, however, there are people actively looking at every single uh, location at Founders Square. So we anticipate by the end of the year, we should have every single parcel locked up. And by the end of 2023, we should have a majority of these projects wrapping up and a wonderful new addition to the entryway of Speedway. So uh, this project has been something I've worked on the entire five years. I think it's turned out very nice and it, it, it really utilizes that space at the entranceway well and I think we've added some additions that the community asked for. When we started this project five years ago, we had public meetings and public input sessions, and we tried to check the boxes of the top, uh, top wish list items, if you will, of the town. So uh, I'm proud of this development, and I, it's a great um, addition to the town. It's provided new stores new shopping experience and new living uh, facilities. So um, with that being said, uh, if you have any other questions, please contact Grant Klein, hence the town manager. And um, thank you again for five wonderful years in Speedway.